Hey, I'm Max Williams, and today we're going to be doing Algernon, Proving Grounds, uh, Practice Labs. Uh, this is a study of the, uh, this is my OSCP prep study. So, I'll start off with InMap, and this is just the scan that I like to do to start off with. I'm trying to get as much port information back as possible, and I let it run um, in the background. I did forget that this is a... Windows box, um, and so we need to add a the tag p in <clears throat> scan, then we can run. We start prepping our next scan. So in map dash sc default scripts sv to enumerate versions tag p, and then we're going to put the um, each of these ports that's coming through. So 21, 135, 80, 139, 445, 50, 40. 7680, we'll leave it at that until we know what's coming next. Um, 7680, 49666, 49665. And then when we will output into the nmap format, the file called nmap.md. What this is gonna let me do, um, what this is going to do is start running, um, it's going to, uh, uh, show up in Obsidian. Looks like we have more ports coming through. There are a ton on here. Which is not super, you know, odd. Okay, 49665, 17001, 49669, so a lot of these higher reports, they're normal Windows ports as well. Um, I say normal as you just kind of expect a lot of high open ports. Okay, um, so let's move into our directory. Algernon, clear that out. And then we can start our in-map from all of this. If we look, we see FTP, HTTP, NetBIOS, SMB, so we'll, let's go ahead and start. While that scan's running, let's do some other things. Let's do FTP anonymous at not this. We want our IP. Please stop that. Stop highlighting. Copy. Um, there we go. So we're checking for anonymous. We can log in. And logs CD logs please move into the directory there we go let's look at some of these more this uh, claim AV more this. Mm. Op log, SMTP log, that could be good. That could hold something very nice in it. Hold some maybe clear text credentials, but it doesn't. <laughs> and what else do we have here? It's all the same thing, just at different dates. Here's one. Administrative lock. You can check it. And user at calling create primary system admin, username admin, webmail, login user admin, user admin at login successful with admin. Do we have credentials, maybe? Admin admin? What's in my clipboard? Nothing good. Okay. At this. Anonymous login and um, admin, admin. Credentials were located in this other file. What was it called? This. 
I'm just going to put the whole thing in there. We CD'd into logs. And then we moored this administrative file. Okay. Let's move up a directory. SDI map. Retrieval. Nothing. Pop. Retrieval. Nothing. Pull. Drop. Nothing. Okay. There's that. We can do SMB client, tac L. Not that. There we go. So L to list the shares in to uh let's try this with you. Guest. We'll probably get account disabled. Um it is you. This you verbose a version the debug maybe it's debug directory help oh, tar config log communication Kerberos debug with D it's just D Login failure. Let's try this. Out the. Yeah, okay. So password for guest. We'll just use guest. And failed. Uh, so no anonymous login, no guest user login. We can now look at our in map. We just open it up in a new tab. And clean up the output. Just to make it that, you know, that much more readable for us. There we go. So we'll grab all of this. And we can do the backticks, which is by the tilde symbol. Um, and then I like to call it Python. And then spread some of this out just so it's easier to see. We have a lot of interesting things like 9998. That's interesting. 1701. Um, message signing is enabled, but not required. Nine 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 eight Pando Pub seventy six eighty. Okay, so we've done some stuff. We did twenty two, um, four forty five. We've kind of gone through those ports while all that was going. Let's look at this. I have the, I need to get the IP again. Somewhere. Where my IP go? It's fine. I'll grab it from here. Okay. I didn't mean to open up Burp Suite, but okay. HTTP, that, and port, what was it? 17001? Add here burp. One seven zero zero one, yes. Uh so dot net. Okay. We can look back at that more if we need to. Nine 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 eight, let's check that out. Internet root login. Smart mailer. Let's look up. Smart mailer. Got here. Smart mailer exploit. Smart mailer build 6985 RCE. I like remote code execution, so we'll take a look at it. And 
Let's go ahead and get it into a file. CD, documents, proving grounds, Algernon, clear. Uh, actually, let's make a directory. Let's make the exploit directory and then we'll CD into exploit. And then we'll nano exploit.py, x, y, and enter and make sure it was a Python script. It was. And. SmartMailer before build 6985 provides a .NET remote endpoint. We have seen a .NET, which is vulnerable to a .NET deserialization attack. You shall encode UTF-6 to A64 encode it. Okay. Payload, A64 encode payload, which is this. So it's gonna create the payload for us. Payload equals base64 dot decode payload. Payload dot replace x UTF AAP. Okay. Alright, so let's do this. Python three. Oh actually. I need to edit this, these values. Ugh. We'll get this edited real fast. Hopefully I have the new value, the proper value. One and two, one, six, eight, 45, two, 31. So this is our IP. And we're gonna leave it on, we're gonna leave it on, um, what was it? I think it was four, 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 four. Uh, Python three. And it was just exploit. Uh, okay, so we've got some extra values here. So here's what we're gonna do. Let's take out all the stuff we know we don't need. And if you're wondering, I just did a backspace there. So there's one backspace and then there's two. So there are like these, there's like some, some value there that I'm removing by backspacing. I'm assuming it's just like a new line or uh, a blank space. So now let's try Python exploit three. And we get a remote session back. Who am I? Oh, who am I? Oh, okay. Wow. That, uh, that's Algernon then. Why was that so easy? CDC, users, administrator, desktop? Give me a break, bro. CDC, CD users, CD administrator. I guess that helps if you spell the name properly. Yeah, and there's our proof. Okay. Well, hell. We did it. <laughs> it was that easy. Um, anyway, uh, I guess if you learned something, which uh, I guess what you would have learned or taken from this is enumerate. So what well, we checked out 21, we checked out 445, and we did this while they we were running our scans, right? We weren't wasting any amount of time as we were seeing things come up and we know how to, you know, kind of check for exploits um, along those. And then, you know, the higher ports, they're, they're more custom. And so I started kind of at the bottom. I missed all these 49 ports. Um, I wasn't super concerned about those. This was interesting. We saw that running .NET, um, I'm not sure why it was actually showing us like the service running, but it did. Uh, and then we went straight into 9998 and we just, I would have just continued to make my way up, um, up the list to 80. Excellent. So, uh, yeah, hope you had a good time. It wasn't a long time, but it was a pretty good time. So anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Have a good, uh, day. Bye.